Up next, an insight guaranteed to make your English teacher fall in love with you. Just remember, no dating or anything, because that's like illegal. Okay, so the first time I read The Scarlet Letter, I was pretty much convinced that the Custom House was a mistake. Like, Hawthorne didn't know where to start his story or something. So much for that theory. I'm not kidding when I say that the Custom House is an essential part of the novel. It's kind of genius, actually. Here's why. The narrator of the Custom House isn't Hawthorne, but they've got some things in common. Both Hawthorne and the narrator worked essentially as tax collectors. As for our narrator, what makes his chapter brilliant is that his story sets the stage for many of the themes that Hawthorne explores in the main narrative of The Scarlet Letter. Alienation? Check. The search for a few who will understand him? Check. And then there's the theme of art. Writing, in the narrator's case. Needlework in Hester's. Is it noble? Can it change you? In sum, take the time to plow through the Custom House. When you think of it as sort of a distillation of the novel, it might just start to make sense.